Hey everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and in today's video, it's going to be all about perfume. So I know I had been doing the list five every day on Etsy, and I have not stopped doing that, but today we're just kind of changing the product that we're selling and the platform. So we're going to be listing some vintage perfumes, and we're going to be doing it on eBay. So what I did to try and save some time is I went ahead and I created my drafts and I already loaded my pictures. Um, I did wake, make one make one mistake on um, some perfume and I actually accidentally went ahead and listed it. So that's going to be like the very first one that we edit and work on because literally it's just going off somebody else's uh, auction and with my picture because I don't know, I must have accidentally hit the, um, you know, the send to um, auction or whatever. So yeah. I have to go and edit that first. But so today's video is gonna be four parts. So we're gonna be listing some perfume. And the second part is I'm gonna actually show you guys um, my favorite perfumes, like what I what I wear, you know, like I don't have just one perfume I wear. I wear a ton of perfumes, whatever I'm in the mood for. So I have a whole bunch of different ones. And then um, I'm gonna be doing some research, showing you guys some of the perfumes, like the bolos to be, to be on the lookout for. That's what bolo means. And then um, the fourth part of the video is going to be a giveaway, so be sure and stay tuned. Um, so I'd like to invite everybody to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and please give the video a like, hit the thumbs up, and um, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys the perfumes that I have. Now all of these I've either picked up at like Goodwill or garage sales for really cheap. So this is the first one. It's Coco Chanel, and it's Chanel number no. 5 is the scent. And it is a one and a half ounce a spray. Right there, you can see it. And this one, you actually can pull it out just like that to see how much is left. And you can, as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty. I thought I got all that off with the ink being on, but I guess I missed the slide. I have to get that off. Uh, it's still pretty full. And it doesn't even really look that old. It's not really that dark. I mean, some perfumes, when they get old, they can get really dark, but this one's not really that dark. So, and it still smells really good. Uh, and I would keep it, but it looks like I can get about $78 for it. So I'm going to try and sell it. If I don't sell it for that much, then I'll just keep it and use it for myself. So yeah, <clears throat> this is the one that I accidentally went ahead and listed. So let's go and edit that. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot to do something. Hang on one second. Let's uh, put me here on top. Let's see. No, stop it. So I stay with you guys whenever I bring up the uh, eBay link. Okay. Now let me shrink me down. <laughs> okay. So here are my drafts, you guys, that I already created. And I will tell you, I only tried to make the first picture look pretty. I didn't go through and edit all of the pictures just to save some time. But what I have found is I'm not really feeling the white background so much for the perfumes. Um, I might actually even go in and try a different uh, background and maybe go ahead and change out the <clears throat> the first picture. I just don't know yet, but for uh, purposes of the video, we're just going to go ahead and go with the ones I've loaded here. So let's look at the one that I've accidentally already listed, and we're going to edit that. So this is my listing. I did my research, and I figured I could probably get about $78 for this. So here are my pictures I took. And I took a picture of the bottom. And I know they're really dark, huh? And so then I pulled it out so you could see how much perfume was still in there. So I'm going to come up here. And all of this, none of that is my words or anything. I didn't write any of that. It's somebody else's. So let's go in here and we're going to hit revise. Because I didn't want to end it. I mean, you only get so many uh, free auction listings month. And this is why I'm doing an auction on all of these perfumes is because you never know. I mean, somebody might be looking for that one in particular. It might be two people looking for that. So you might actually get a bidding war there. You just never know. So that's why um, I'm going to be trying an auction with these. Uh, now, last night I did add this store category perfume. So that's where I'm going to, the category that I'm going to put all the perfumes in. Um, so let me see if I like the title here. Vintage Chanel number no. five. It did toilet. I'm not sure how you say that spray. Ours is um, not a 3.4 ounce. It is a one and a half ounce. So I'm going to say 
ounce, and I can't, I mean, I guess this is black. I was thinking it could be navy blue, but I guess it's black. So black perfume bottle, I wonder what NOS means. I don't know. I should know that, but I don't. Uh, so I'm going to take that off. Let's see, let me read it. So vintage Chanel number five, blah, blah, blah. 1.5 ounce black perfume bottle. I'm going to put the word in, spray. Or they already have that. Oh, they do already have that. Okay, so that sounds good. So I'm going to copy that. Command copy. And then I'm going to come down here and there is no UPC because I don't have the original box. It's definitely used. And let's see. I need to change this here to 1.5. Vintage scent, yes, spray. Okay, that all looks very good. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here with a bullet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was hoping it would just delete it. Let's do a bullet, okay, and V. Okay, and then me up here. So then I'm gonna say, and what do you guys think? I mean, I would say it's like three-fourths full, easily. So that's what I'm going to put for the listing. Bless you, Skippy. Okay, so we'll say uh, bottle is three-fourths full, if not more, <laughs> and in great condition. I mean, how can, how can perfume be in great condition? <laughs> But I guess I mean like the bottle is what I mean to say. Okay, so let's see. And then I'm going to say um, uh, fast shipping, what I always say with delivery confirmation. Okay. Oh, and you know what? You know what? I must have listed this as fixed price. It's a buy it now. I did not want to do that. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, this will be a little learning experience if you've never had to deal with something like this. This is not the way I wanted the video to go, but uh, we're just going to roll with it. So I am going to have to end this video, in this video. Goodness, end this uh, listing is what I meant to say. So I'm going to go back over here. Okay, no, I need to go back again. Okay, now I want, okay, why won't it let me end this? Uh oh, I don't know why that's happening, hang on. Okay guys, take two. <laughs> I don't know what that weird noise was there at the end of the last video, I'm not sure if you guys heard it. But that's like the second time ever that my MacBook has started making a weird, freaky, echoing noise like that. It's really weird when it happens. So that's why I just went ahead and ended the video real quick that, right there, that segment. So yeah, so this listing was just giving me a bunch of crap. So I just went ahead and took care of it before I came back on here. And I have relisted it now as an auction. I chose to list it for $74.99. And I'm going to do ground shipping because you don't want to do priority mail because that could be um, you know, go on an airplane and that's not good because you don't want anything to explode. Um, in another video, um, once some of this perfume sells, I'll show you guys how I ship the perfume too. So, um, let's move on to the next one. So the next bottle I have is, I was so surprised that I've had this probably for a year or more just sitting on the shelf. Um, this perfume is called Royal Secret and it's, it's totally full. It's completely full. And I probably got it uh, at a garage sale for Goodwill. Honestly, I don't even remember. So it is 3.3 fluid ounces. And you guys, look how much this stuff goes for. I was so surprised last night when I was looking. Um, let's see. So I did a search um, for the perfume here for the Royal Secret. And then I did the soles and then I sorted highest to lowest. So look how much they're going for. Like I found one bottle in particular, just like mine, it sold for $149. So I'm thinking, let me, 
I'm thinking for this one in particular, I think I'm going to go ahead and list it at 149 buy it now. Uh, just, you know, in case somebody gets some hot fingers and they have to have it now, I'm okay with $150, you know, when I probably paid like two bucks for this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look at these prices. So this is definitely a bolo, uh, the Royal Secret for sure. So this is the one I was telling you guys about. So it is Royal Secret Perfume 3.3. Uh, fluid ounces. It's just like mine. So, um, and it sold for $149.99. So I'm going to do the same thing. And that was on January the 8th of this year. So let's go over here into my dress. I mean, for $149, if somebody buys it at that price, I think I can handle doing free shipping. <laughs> so here's my draft that I created last night and I uploaded my pictures today. So I'm going to click on complete draft. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm not sure what that five star, that must be the company. I'm not sure. But I'm not, oh yeah, it is five star fragrance company. Okay, so we'll want to keep that in there. We'll want to get rid of that extra space they left in there. Uh, concentrate. I wonder what full means. Oh, they mean the, the bottle's full. Yeah, my bottle's totally full too. So let's see. Royal Secret Perfume, 3.3 ounce, five star spray concentrate okay that all looks good to me so I'm gonna use that same title so I'm gonna command a command copy and we're gonna make the category perfume come down here there is no UPC and then I've added my pictures as you, you can see my other ones are a little bit darker I did not uh, take the time to lighten those up yet. I don't even know if I will. This one in the background came out pretty okay, I feel like. But um, And quite literally, I just take my pictures on a white fluorescent uh, curtain panel that I got at Walmart on top of my washing machine in the laundry room. And, um, and then I edit them uh, right there. Or you can also edit them in um, eBay as well. They have a really good editing uh, software built right in. So let's see. So well, the great thing about using somebody else's listing is all the um, item specifics are already filled in. So that is really good. So I'm going to, let's see, delete that. All right. And then I'm going to say, um, excellent condition. Fast shipping with delivery confirmation. I guess ground mail does delivery confirmation. I hope so, since I'm saying it. So we're, we're going to do fixed price. We'll leave it at $150, just how they have right here. Um, yes, I scrolled right past returns. I just don't want to enter it. I'm not going to allow returns on this. Um, so I guess if you're not going to accept them, you just don't fill it out. We'll see if it prompts me. Um, now we are going to do flat rate. I never do calculated shipping, especially because most of the items I sell usually go for about the same price anyway. You know, it's either like shoes or books or jewelry and stuff like that. Um, so let's see. And then I'm going to enter... Uh, I think I did parcel post. I'm pretty sure that parcel post is um, ground. So we'll do that. Free shipping. That would be skippy. Yep, yep. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. Someone hit list it. Okay, so real quick, let's take a gander and see what it looks like. And hopefully he'll be quiet here in a second. I know some people that really annoys. Let's see, so everything looks really good to me. So 
So we are going to move on. Uh, now, for timing purposes, I am not going to go through and list the other three that I have. Right now, I feel like um, one is good to uh, share with you guys how I'm listing it. But I do want to show you the other ones that I have that I will be listing later on tonight. So I have these vintage, uh, and I don't know how you say this, Gillerin, Gillerin, Gillerin. I'm sure I'm topping this up and somebody will correct me, no doubt. But um, this is how you spell it. You guys, anytime you see any kind of perfume with this name on it, pick it up. They go for really good money. So, and then here is another one. This one is Shalimar. Actually, they are both Shalimar. They both smell like Shalimar. So I'm going to stick these two together, and I'm hoping to get at least $75 for the both of these. Um, we'll see. I'm definitely going to do an auction on these. Uh, the other one that I have, I believe I paid $4 for this at a garage sale last summer, um, and it is totally full, and it is by Estee Lauder, and the scent is called Amber Mystique. This type of perfume, it smells really good. I thought I was going to keep it because um, it's, you know, real musky. I like the musky, earthy, um, you know, hippie type patchouli stuff is what I love. But um, when it goes on, it smells really strong. And I'm thinking, oh, gosh, why did I spray that on me? On me? But then after like about, I don't know, an hour, the scent kind of fades a little bit and it's really nice. But I think I'm going to go ahead and list it. I feel like I can get about $39 for this. And again, if it doesn't sell, I just keep it for me. And I'll probably do a buy it now on that one because there are a lot available. Uh, the other one is some Kate Spade Live Colorfully. And this one's not a vintage one. It's a newer one, but it's pretty much totally full. And this one um, also has the lotion that goes with it. So I think, I cannot remember exactly what the prices were going for on this, but I think I'm going to ask about $35 for the both of these. Um, and it doesn't smell bad. It smells really good. It's just not my thing. So yeah, those are the ones that I'm going to be listing and everything will be shipped ground, uh, so that it doesn't go on an airplane and explode. <laughs> uh, so then let's look at some of the bolos like the type. Oh, you guys don't need to see that, do you? Let's look at some of the bolos that go for really good money. So anything I, you guys that, that end... Or if you see this Gillerin, I know I'm chopping that word up. Pick it up. That's definitely a bolo right there for sure. So let's go through here. And let me close all these windows out. Okay. Let's come up here to the top, the search box. And if you guys want to follow me on eBay, I am Couture Adore, have been for years. I have uh, 9,141 feedback. I'm really hoping to get to 10,000 soon, you guys. So it's taken a while. I've been on eBay since 2000. Um, have not always been a super big power seller selling, moving a whole lot of inventory. So like I said, basically I'm pretty much just like a part-time seller. Okay. So the way that I figure out for bolos, you guys, is I just take whatever it is I'm looking for and um, I'll put it in the, in the box there. So we're going to type in, let's just try vintage. And another good word to use when you're doing perf perfume or cologne is um, discontinued. So we'll type that in for fun. Discontinued perfume. My little MacBooks are a little slow today. They're like, no, we don't want you to make this video today, Tanya. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do at this point is I want to come down here over to the very far left. And I want to choose sold. Can y'all hear the dogs walking around? Here's Skippy. He just sits there and watches me. 
Um, okay, so here we go. Oops, I'm still thinking, catching up. Oopsie. Okay, are you done? Let's see if it'll let me. Oh gosh. For the next segment, you guys, I'm gonna have to turn this off and restart my little MacBook or something because it is really running slow. Okay, just stop. Let's see. Okay, yes. Please show me the salts. <laughs> so it's thinking, and while it's thinking, yeah, I want to go back up here to the top, and I'm going to sort by highest to lowest. Okay, so here's one. Oh my goodness, look at these prices, you guys. So this vintage and rare Tova perfume, I've never even heard of that. But it looks like there's three, three little bottles of it. And I'm sure it's sold for close to 1355 Because usually people make best offers, you know, within a pretty close range, I would imagine. And let's see, the next one, it was sold for $775. And I have no idea how you pronounce that one. Subis Extract. I have no idea. <laughs> Then here is a vintage Tiffany & Company perfume, and that one sold for $634.80. Wow. So, yeah, anytime you see Tiffany, definitely pick it up. I always pick up vintage perfume. I mean, I just do. I mean, if it's not worth anything, I can always move it in my antique booth, so it's something that I enjoy selling. So I just like to pick it up. So lots of the Tiffany stuff. Here is a uh, rare vintage Aramis New West uh, perfume, $429. That is crazy insane. So yeah, you guys can go through here. Here's a Christian Dior one. And uh, do a search, and you can do the same thing for uh, cologne. Instead of perfume, you might wanna type in cologne to see what you know the clones are going for. But basically this whole method here that I've done applies to anything when you're looking for a bolo. So you just type in what it is you're curious about and then you um, go over to the left and you click on sold and then whenever they pop up, you wanna go ahead and sort from highest to lowest. And that's how you're going to quickly be able to figure out bolos. Um, okay, so moving on. <laughs> This video is going to be, it's getting lengthy. Uh, so let me close this out. And we'll move me over here. I'll get a little bit bigger. Okay, so I want to share with you guys my collection real quick. I have quite a few of them. <laughs> like I said, I don't always uh, wear the same perfume, whatever I'm in the mood for. I like to change it up and wear something different, you know, whether it's summer or maybe it's winter. So um, that might determine what kind of sense I'm in the mood to wear. So this one is a classic one. It is Coco Chanel and it is Mademoiselle. Let's see if you guys can be able to read that. But yeah, um, my husband got this one for me and to open it, you just twist it like this and it, it's a spray. And to see how much is in it, let me see. Oh yeah, it just pulls right out. So it pulls right out just like this. And it actually came with, wait, get back in there. Watch me spray myself in the face. <laughs> okay, it went back down. Um, it actually came with two more bottles. Uh, I guess like refills. And you guys, I've had this probably for two years, maybe even three, I'm not sure. And they still don't look like they've darkened any. So. I don't know, I could use, I could probably have these for a lifetime and not go through all of them. But yeah, Mademoiselle is definitely one of my favorite scents. It smells amazing. As a matter of fact, uh, the owner over at my antique mall, she walked past me the other day and I was like, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle? And she's like, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I wear it too. But yeah, it smells really good. I love it. It's very fresh and clean. My mom wears it too sometimes. Um, you're going to quickly find out I'm a big Estee Lauder fan. I love Estee Lauder. I always have. 
ever since I was a teenager, I've always bought Estee Lauder products. Um, so this is one of my favorites, especially for the summertime. It is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. And it kind of smells like, it smells like summer to me. It smells like, kind of like suntan lotion, but yet very pretty feminine lady at the same time. So um, definitely one of my favorites. As you can tell, I've used a whole lot of it. I think I just bought this last summer. So I, I wear this one often. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, the next one, I believe I got this one last Christmas from my mother and father-in-law, and it is Michael Kors, and it is Glam Jasmine. You guys, this smells so amazing. If you love floral scents, this smells really good. It's very fresh. It's very clean, and it just smells amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Well, they're all my favorites, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's a super big bottle. I feel like it's going to last me probably another two years, so um Definitely a really great scent. And as a matter of fact, I am going to be giving away um, a little bitty bottle of this in the giveaway. And it's probably about maybe a little less than halfway full, but still just enough for you to be able to get an idea if you like it or not and to wear it. So that one. Um, this is a classic Estee Lauder Knowing. I love Knowing. I've definitely been wearing this one since I was very young. Um, this is great for the... Uh, a winter scent, fall, it's very woodsy and um, a classic. I just love Estee Lauder Knowing. It's one of my very favorites. My grandma loves Estee Lauder Knowing. She wears it sometimes too. Um, the next one, I'm not even sure how you say this, so I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> but I actually got a free sample of this in the mail. And so I liked it so much that I um, went on eBay and I looked and I think I paid like, I don't know, 12 or $15 for this bottle right here. It's a really pretty bottle. I kept the box. I don't know why I kept the box, but I did. Um, so this is what it looks like. And this one, again, it just smells really pretty. Uh, it's a really clean scent also. Kind of florally and... I love it. It smells really good. So wear that one a lot. Now this one I just got yesterday. I have worn it many times before in the past, but I haven't worn it in a long time. I smelled it on somebody and I thought, oh my gosh, that's Theory Muggler Angel. And I hadn't worn it in forever. So I thought, yeah, I want to get some, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a really big bottle. So I got the perfume, the, um, the purse size. And I think I paid, I don't know, 20 or $30 for this. I can't remember. But uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Now, if you buy the big bottle of it, it's really pretty. It comes in a little star, a glass star. And um, it's real pretty. It's light blue. And definitely one of my favorites. It smells amazing, you guys. So I highly recommend this one. I love the little purse size. It's so cute. So that's what I've been wearing all week long since I just got it. I'm really into this one right now. Uh... This one's I've had a while. You can tell it's kind of dirty looking, but it is Estee Lauder Modern Muse. Uh, my son told me before he likes this perfume, so this is definitely another good one. Anything by Estee Lauder is going to be good, you guys. I love, I love all of Estee Lauder's scents. Really, I do. So, um, yeah, love this one. This, I think this is one of the newer type ones that they have. <clears throat> and then the last one that I wear, I like to wear it, and I just discovered this one, I think, around Christmas time. Uh, as you can tell, I've worn a whole lot of it, <laughs> and this is just um, one I picked up at Target. It's called Pacifica, and it is Himalayan patchouli, patchouli berry. So I love patchouli. I love all those kind of hippie, earthy scents, and I love it so much, I even went and got the perfume rollerball of it to carry in my purse. But the thing about this one I've noticed is, let me show you guys the title, not the title of it. So it says Himalayan patchouli berry is it smells really good when you first put it on but it's like it doesn't stay with you like if I sprayed it now and in three hours from now I went to smell if I, if I, I can't smell it like the smell the scent just disappears so it's really weird but yeah um love this one got it at uh, Target I think I paid like $20 for the big bottle size and the purse thing I think was like 10 or 11 or something like that but yeah those are all my favorite perfumes you guys so now let's get on to the giveaway.
Okay, so the giveaway, <laughs> the contest. So there'll be one lucky winner and they will win three things of perfume. And I will announce the winner on uh, sometime on Monday. I'll do a quick little, quick little video here on my channel and it'll be some kind of random uh, comment picker type of uh, application that we'll use and we'll pick the winner. So um, first let's see what you're gonna win. So this is the little bitty bottle I was telling you that I have of the Michael Kors the Glam Jasmine, so it's about half halfway full, and it still smells really nice. Hang on one second. It still smells really nice, so you'll get this one. And then the other one is this neat little key perfume here, and this is actually by Avon, and I'm pretty sure it's called um, Unforgettable. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So, and you know what, you guys, I didn't know what this was. There's no name on it or anything. And quite literally, I just Googled um, vintage perfume key and it popped up Avon. So that's really neat. So you guys are going to get this and it's totally full. It almost looks like it's like fluorescent green. At least that's the way that it looks like on my end. Maybe it's that reflection over there. I don't know. But shall we get this one? This is two. And then the third thing you're going to get is this uh, Hermes sample, sample here, Voyage something to Hermes and it's actually a little spray cologne there inside a little sample size so yeah so you'll get three of them so this is what you got to do to enter so the first thing you have to do is if you're not already subscribed subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram the uh, link is down in the description box down below and uh, the third thing you have to do is comment below and tell me what your favorite perfume is um, so that's uh, three things that you have to do. So just to recap, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and uh, comment down below what your favorite perfume or cologne is, guys, if you're, you know, guys are watching. Uh, and then again, I'll pick the uh, winner randomly on Monday, April the 1st. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something I've been wanting to bring you guys for a long time now. Um, so please like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.